Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Connect Spider video. So what you see in the table here before you are obviously motorcycle helmets. We have now been riding our Can-Am Spider, of which we've had two of. The F3 we had in the beginning, which was a 2016 F3 Limited, and our purchase of last year, which was a 2021 RT Limited. So we did not get into motorcycling or spidering, however you want to describe it, until later on. I was 61 when I went for my motorcycle license, and uh, so we've been doing it now for... Got my license in uh, June of 2018, so technically we just finished our fifth season. It's November where I am up here in Canada and the season just ended about a week and a half ago. We got out for our last ride. So if you've been riding motorcycles or whatever for the last 30 years, this is probably not the video for you. I just want to share with everyone what our journey was in terms of the various types of helmets that we've purchased over the last five years. As you can see, there's been a few. So I'm gonna go through each one of these helmets individually. I'm going to describe how it came to be, why we stopped using it, and where we've ended up with in our helmet journey. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it informative. And as always, thanks very much for following along and watching the video. So this was my first helmet. It's an MT Helmet Atomic Modular. And I purchased this helmet before I even bought the Spider. Um, what I decided to do is I wanted to go and do a motorcycle course, or a Spider course in this case, which would give me a chance to actually ride around and see how it felt and make that final decision before I actually bought the bike. I did have my eye on the 2016 F3 that we ended up buying, but I hadn't actually purchased it. So obviously when I wasn't really sure, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this helmet. So I think it was a couple of hundred dollars and uh, it's just a standard modular helmet. Just opens up at the front, nothing fancy. It has a, a built-in sun visor. It fit the bill for what I was wanting at that point in time to go and take the course. I ended up continuing to use this helmet for I guess about the first two years of riding. And then the end of this helmet came mainly because the interior padding started to kind of wear down, especially on the top of my head. And it actually, I wore right through it and it was starting to cause an abrasion on, on the top of my head. So I think it was in uh, sometime in 2020, we decided that uh, it was time for this helmet to be replaced. So this is phase two of our helmet journey. Obviously, I had to get a replacement for my empty helmets because of the padding breaking down on the inside. So both Leslie and I went out and we both purchased this helmet, which is an LS2 Valiant 2. Again, it's a modular helmet. We liked the way this helmet operated. As you can see, it's got a nice big viewing area on the visor. Also another nice thing about this helmet is you can open it up and the chin bar goes all the way back. So you can wear it like a open face helmet with fully open or with the visor down. I still wear this helmet, but 90% of the time or probably almost 100% of the time, it is in this configuration, in that kind of open face design with the visor down. I find that overall, the when the chin bar is folded over and completely locked in place, I find it quite tight on my face. Um, it's not that I can't wear it that way, I just find it kind of tight. Leslie's version of this helmet ended up completely failing. Uh, one day we were out for a ride, and the gearing system that makes this whole thing work on the side failed and the helmet kind of fell apart. So it was returned back to the, 
the store and they ended up giving us a full refund because Ellis too couldn't replace the helmet in a kind of a acceptable amount of time. So Leslie ended up getting something else which I'll show you later in the video and I still use this helmet to this day. After Leslie's LS2 modular helmet failed, uh, we were still in riding season that year so we had to get her something to wear and that was when we kind of made our departure from the modular helmet world and she chose this showy RFSR full face helmet very simple no moving parts doesn't even have a sun visor and uh, it fit her really great in the store she's very comfortable with it out riding it's very lightweight and she doesn't feel any neck strain or head strain when she's wearing it one thing though about the full face helmets is they're hot in the hot weather so we were down at our friendly neighborhood motorcycle store this summer and she bought herself this showy J Cruise. Stuck with showy because we thought, you know, the, the shape of the helmet would be pretty much the same and she was pretty much guaranteed that it would be comfortable and it has turned out that way. So the J Cruise in the hot weather and the RFSR in the cooler weather at the beginning and at the end of the season. So that's where Leslie's helmet journey has ended up for the time being. And I really believe that we have uh, found the solution for her in these two helmets. So this is the helmet setup that I have ended up with. The same day that we were down picking up Leslie's J Cruise, I tried on another showy RFSR. That was a mistake. It fit me like a glove. So in keeping with the hot weather, cool weather, I decided that I was gonna pick up that RFSR and I still wear the LS2 and, and the hot weather. And I will continue to wear that helmet until such times as it starts to kind of break down. I mean, the padding usually ends up breaking down or something will break on that helmet eventually. But for right now, I find it to be very comfortable in that configuration with the chin bar back and I've got all my microphones and filming gear all hooked up to it so it's working for me right now. So this has ended up being my helmet configuration that I've been using or I'm going to be using going forward and I will use it until one of them eventually fails or just gets too old. In summary, so this is where we started and this is where we have ended up. It's been a bit of a, a journey for sure. We were new to the activity. Uh, we had to kind of find our way. I don't really know if I would be offering up any advice. Helmets are, as we found out, a very, very tricky thing. You go into a store and you try something on um, and you're trying to figure out what that is going to feel like after it's been on your head for six or seven or more hours on the bike. It's a very hard thing to figure out. So you just have to kind of find your way. So this is where we've ended up. We've ended up using the Shoei RFSRs for our cool weather riding. And Leslie is using her Shoei J Cruise for the warmer weather days and I'm still using the LS2 for the warmer weather um, that kind of more open face design. So that's going to wrap up another Connect Spider video everyone. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it informative. As I said at the beginning this is uh, just me trying to share our experience with helmets with you. If you've been riding for a long time you've already gone through this process and you know what you like. So if you find the content in our channel interesting, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking that little bell so you get reminded when we release a new video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.